Hey y'all. Well, um, I normally don't do a whole lot of like unrelated haul videos and things on my YouTube channel, but um, I watched a video a little while ago that kind of got me thinking about, you know, things and I actually commented on it as well because there was a lot of um, slanderous statements being made and a lot of judgmental statements being made because of what this woman went through um, and they just wanted to treat her like an average, you know, gutter ball junkie and that she basically decided to do what she did on purpose by getting pregnant and, you know, doing what she, you know, doing the drug thing, you know, but, you know, there is people out there that have had this happen to them. I've never known anybody personally that has had this happen. Um, this is, <clears throat> excuse me, this is basically the first story per that I've actually heard on YouTube of anything like this happening where somebody got pregnant and they actually tried to go to like a detox center or something like that to get clean because they didn't want to, you know, be an addict like that, you know, having a child. They wanted to change their lifestyle, but this person was unable to do that. You know, she got insurance, did everything she was supposed to do, but she could not go to, you know, a rehab, a detox. You know, when you're left with, like, only going to, like, a methadone clinic, that's pretty bad. It says something not about the person that that's happening to. It says something about our resources in this country for people that have addiction problems. I think they should have more resources generated to help people get off the drugs. Because there's not enough available. And some people... You know, they may not qualify for, you know, Medicaid. So where does that put them if they can't get insurance? Where do they go? You know, I think every state should have, you know, treatment centers for people that don't have insurance. They want to get off uh, the drugs. You know, there's a lot of people that die because of it. You know, it's really sad. Um... I know I'm going to be doing a special, like this is unrelated, but do a special video next month on something personal in my life. Um, it has to do with recovery and everything. You guys can check out my channel for that, but just thought I'd mention that since I'm talking about this. But, you know, I just, I don't understand, you know, why our, our government or our states and all that shit won't help people. Um... I just don't get it. What do y'all think? Um, do you think it was right for people to judge somebody because they were a woman that was a drug addict, that got pregnant, didn't know until after they were already pregnant for a little while, found out, and then tried to do the right thing and could not do so? Do you think she was wrong for continuing to carry the child and take methadone just so the child wouldn't go through serious... Shit. Problems. Well, she actually lowered her methadone dose, she stated, too, which was good. I do give her, you know, kudos on that. That's a good thing. But still, you know, and to hear the way that those children were treated in that hospital. Oh, my God. Like, no caring, no loving, no nothing. Like, those people did not care. Those children were going through hell because they were withdrawing. It's like, my heart just freaking breaks because I have kids of my own, you know, I wasn't under the influence or anything when I had mine, but still, you know, just to know the other mothers that were and had their children and they had to be in the NICU like that for like a couple couple of months or something like that. And they were, they were basically not treated well. Oh my, what a nightmare. Um, I honestly agree with the person. Something needs to be done about it. You know, I know that I personally can't have any more kids. And I'm not doing any of the things that I was doing in my past. But still, even if I were, you know, what if, you know, I put myself in my own, in her shoes. What if it would have happened to me like that? You know, I, I don't, I don't think I would have agreed with the whole action that was taken. So, 
I don't know. You guys tell me what you think. You know, please don't, please don't bash. Please don't be rude. You know, I don't want to have to, you know, remove comments and everything else. You know, at least use common sense if you're going to comment. Don't be rude and everything else because that's not needed. You know, this is a serious, like, problem that we're facing in our country. There's lots of people that are addicted to freaking drugs. And a lot of people don't want to, don't want to, you know, acknowledge it. And I'm sorry, if you've never been addicted yourself, you will not understand how hard it is to get off the drugs. It's not an overnight process. You don't just go to bed one night and wham, bam, you're cured. It don't happen like that. And some people will say, well, if you had the, if you have willpower, you can quit right away and never go back. That don't work either. Sorry, that don't work. I've actually heard that come out of my family's mouth with me. Oh, if you have willpower, you can just walk away. Sorry, does not happen. Don't happen. It's like, try to take the frig, just try to take the ignorance out of what you've heard about people that have been addicted to drugs and actually think about, like, the seriousness of it because this is ridiculous that people aren't offered more help. Seriously, if I had, like, a lot more money than what I do, you know, I would try to help people, but I just don't have the means to. And I feel for people that, you know, are in that situation because, there's, you know, I can pray for them, try to be there for them, but I can't, I can't do much more than that. And I wish I could do more, but there isn't much I can do. But anyway, I'm going to go, um... Like I said, you guys can comment if you want, but please, I can't stress enough, don't be rude. No rudeness, no bashing, no bullshit, please. You know, I don't want to have to deal with it. If you would like to, like this video, um, comment, subscribe, because I do do other videos that are unrelated to these that are like shopping trip hauls and whatnot so i welcome you to subscribe to my channel anyway i'm out you guys have a good weekend peace